Kamanua rock formations. Scientifically established to be part of the large Limnobrite outcrop, formed naturally 330,000 years ago. What a crock of shot. They try and tell you this stuff here. It's formed naturally. We've got the big crack here. You can see that's natural. That's caused by an earthquake or tree root or something else. This is what we're looking at along here. See the brick, brick marks? These are blocks. Straight as blocks. There's no way. And it goes right along. You've got this bit all over here that's been exposed. They tell you no digging. They don't want you to find out what's really under here. But uh, it's not natural. Just to show you, I'll come out a bit onto the road. The road's right here. I've got the road here. So it's not too hard to find. It's out in the bush a bit. There you go, they come around, that's it there. So that's what you see from the road. And you look at this hill. This hill comes up here. Down the other side there. Almost like a perfect little uh, pyramid shaped hole. Then you've got other bits over here that have been exposed. It's another big side piece, but all just uh, what the scientists and government say is uh, naturally formed, not placed. And you've got the hill coming up. Look, I'll get down the ground contour so you can see a bit more. This hill. And so I thought I'll go around the side of this hill. You see, uh, I found another little bit up through here that someone's dug. So I'll just come up over here. Sorry if the camera's a bit shaky, but we're walking through the bush, so you've got to expect that. And we have this piece here that's been exposed by people. See how it slopes down perfectly with the hill. Come back down the ground level. See this hill? See how the structures perfectly slope at the same degrees as the hill is sloped pretty much? But just you got a few years of uh, this is quite a thin piece through here, quite lucky, not much digging involved. Another piece over there that's been exposed too. And these are blocks, they aren't stones, and blocks don't get placed at certain degrees on angles like this. So I thought I'd have a dig myself. So I found this nice big piece here. This piece is pretty trippy. You can see the angle of it coming down the hill. I'll hold my camera straight. That's sort of the angle, you can see it coming down on the downwards angle. So much hopefully we're at the top of the structure. Maybe the roof or something. Could go 20 metres underground, who would know? You see up on top here, you've got a few layered blocks. It's coming down on the angle of the hill too, it's the road level down there. And then down here, we have a bit that's over time from the earthquake. Could be from Taupo eruption here, you didn't even know. It's come out. And as you can see, sorry, the salt getting that sunspot, get behind the sun so you can see a bit better. There's a recess here. I'll put it right down, you can quite clearly see this recess. Good couple of inches. And that's where it's come away from this block here. This block was probably pushed hard up against here, it's a straight right angle cut for this block to slide in, the bottom block to slide under the top block. But once again, these were naturally formed weren't they? So the uh, scientists and government tell us, man nature's a cool thing. To, uh... <laughs> uh, hey if you're asleep you'll believe nature is that wonderful to create structures like this. If you're awake, you will know this 
ain't what they tell you it is. Here's another bit someone's dug up. A bit more earth on here, but you can see the angle here. Comes down with the hook. Shock, this is the outer edge of the structure coming back down. Yeah, so for the angle it's on, I reckon it's the roof. That's our road level. But this is probably on here. This was probably built before the eruption, Taupo eruption, so probably got 10, 20 metres of that covered in ash. Then another few centuries of or how many thousands of years it's been built for. This is my contribution. I thought, right, I can see the hole here. I can see the contour of that piece of rock over there. It's a piece of rock I've got my bearings off. So, right, that's it. It's going to come down on an angle down the hole here. There should be rock under here. So I got my shovel and had a dig. And I reckon that's what if we all come out here with a shovel, have our own little dig, we can uncover this. But then again, we probably can't because we dug up too much. The powers would be able to come in with truckload to dirt and probably cover it again. But so anyway, here's uh, my little dig. It's a bit deeper in here. But I knew it was going to be here. And there we go. And that's the outer wall or roof or whatever it is on the structure. On the same angle coming down. And that was oh, a good well, three, four feet deep, that bit. But hey, it's a good feeling to be there. I would have been the first one in how many of thousands of years to touch that piece of rock. But, yeah, and you walk through this forest here, and just over the hill, you get to the top of this structure. And you have a look at the other hills, the other side of this, it sort of goes in a bit of a U-shape. And after having a bit of a ticky tour, I don't actually believe it was, uh, this is the only structure here. I think it was probably a whole civilization here. And that is why, all around this area is forestry. Pine trees everywhere, forestry trucks. But this little area of the Kaimanawa Forest, uh, no, we will not turn that into forest because they can't. Because there's too many of these same structures around this area. And you go over the back and have a walk just around this vicinity in the few hundred metres around here. And just the whole contour, like, we definitely know under this hill there's stone structure. So what's not to say the hill behind that is the same thing in the hill behind that. But, hey, they don't want us to think about this kind of thing. Hence why they tell you it's naturally made. So I'm last look at the main bit that's opened up here. And that's only a glimpse of what's really under here. So everybody, don't worry about the silence, there's no digging. Come out here with your shovel and expose this shit. Don't be asleep all your life, eh? Peace out.